Thus Marinius is trying to shake some rhythm into his legs. Wade starts looking for the opportunity to launch his power shots. Noong Abril 20, taong 2018, ay nagkaroon ng pagkakataong lumaban ang isa na namang Filipino boxing sensation para sa IBO Bantamweight World Title. Ang labang ito ay ginanap sa Singapore Indoor Stadium. Bago ang lahat mga kaibigan, eh huwag niyo pong kalimutang pindutin ang like at subscribe button. Nag-a-upload po tayo ng video, isa o higit pa kada linggo. Kampante ang ating kababayan na pinanganak sa Pili Camarines Sur na mananakout niya ang kalaban. Sa labang ito ay 25 anyos pa lang si Michael Dasmarinas at may kasalukuyang kartada na 27 wins with 19 knockouts at 2 losses. At ang kalabang Pranses na si Karim Guerfi ay 31 anyos na may kasalukuyang kartada na 26 wins with 8 knockouts at 3 losses. Kaliwete ang ating kababayan at orthodox fighter naman ang kalaban. Pero sa record ng dalawang boksingero ay di hamak mas malakas ang angking suntok ng Pinoy. And uh, that Glenn will be the first riddle that the Frenchman needs to solve. Work here right in Singapore about uh, a week and a half ago. Uh, now you see the weather. Hey, stop! He showed us during the open workout the speed in his hands. Uh, that left hand uh, can throw a jab and a hook. Different angles. But he's got to be aware of the big punch in southpaw. That's oh. That's it. The outside short the distance for his left hand. The uh, is very much aware of that, digging the right hand to the solar flex of the Filipino fighter. There's usually a little bit of uh, awkwardness in an orthodox versus southpaw fight as they, they try to find the range. Especially when you have good boxers with technical ability like we have here. But I'm a little surprised that it's Guerfi who's got the... Uh, he's looking to... He's launching lead right hands there. One thing that southpaws are typically pretty good at is usually the lead hand battle that determines who gains dominance. Nice combination there from Dustmanenas as he came off the right. But good defense as well, Mike. He had his hands right up. He used his four arms there. Yeah, but as we talked about uh, prior to the coverage, again, you know, we talked about the hand speed and the business of uh, of Gretzky. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now yeah. early in this fight. Good defense, man. Again, he's got that, that hands up. Dustmanenas not getting through with anything. Very, very focused in the head of the battle. Nice little right hand catching this Marinas coming out of the clinch. Yeah, he's looking very capable. Guerfi. It's a good start for me for the Frenchman. He's also cutting off this Marinas. Oh. guys staying away. Hang on, Moving. stop. Round two. Uh, Time. Hindi masyadong gumagalaw itong kalabang Pranses, mga kaibigan. Pero isa itong counter puncher at nakikita natin sa round 1 ay hindi alintana ng Pinoy ang suntok ng kalaban. He's but, uh, with Jack Marino, so he's got to try and upset the form and the rhythm of Guerfi. Something that we were looking to see in that last bout, changing the rhythm of the bout and making the other, other fighter adapt. All bodies, body shots now. Uh, he's connected, I think, with about three out of six so far. He's gone down to the body, trying to uh, maybe slow down this... Uh, aim for the arms. Aim, you know, just, just throw them at chest and arms, because you, you hit that 
you know, you just feel that speed yes. of grip. Feel the left hand downstairs to the elbows and banging hey. the elbows. Stop. Well, it all runs in the bank, particularly when you've got a very tight defense as the Frenchman has. That's why. Hit them arms. Hit them arms so he can't, so you numb them. Good digging body shot there from Guerthi. Marinas. That's Marinas coming back though. Uh, this is really a surprise to me, Glenn, about uh, Guerthi. He's playing the fight against Marinas. Oh, you, you can do that because of, of his speed, because he can get his shots inside Das Marinas and, and, and hurt him. Das Marinas being the powerful one, just needs a, a bigger base. Not going to have it his own way, nor should he. It is an IBO world title, a bantamweight title. But this is another one where the, the puncher, Daz Marinas, has to take his balance into the trenches a little bit. But it's the opposite way around. It's Worthy that looks like he wants to do that. Notice how Daz Marinas is now moving to his left rather than his right, which means Worthy has changed his natural pattern. Right now, he does look bigger. Mabibigat ang pinakawalang kombinasyon ni Das Marinas sa bodega ng kalaban at malakas pa rin ito. Maganda ang conditioning ni Karim. Abangan natin dito sa round 3 kung anong pag-atake ang gagawin ng Pinoy. Has Das Marinas maybe dropped too much weight? It's very, you know, it's very technical, but it's very important the weight making process of, of how your body feels when you actually come to fight time. Now if you get it wrong, it can completely sap you. Take away your power, take away. Oh, the busy uh, Frenchman just uh, attacking. Any room to move, no room to set his rhythm and use those skills that he tends to show from the outside. I think Daz Marinas is surprised by this, isn't he? I don't think he expected this sort of fight. I think he's going to have it more his own way. Yes. Well, Daz Marinas pulling it into the trenches. Once again, drifting to his left. In which case, it needs to move. And the Frenchman, he's just on him. All non -stop. over like a fat kid on a cupcake right now. <laughs> Non-stop punching by uh, Gorky. But Das Marinas, if you can uh, take a look at his eyes, his eyes are just focused on the chest and the abdomen of part of the, of the body of Gorky, and I think that's where they're going to go. A lot of body work from Das Marinas. He, he is doing what Glenn McQuarrie suggested, banging away at the body, banging the elbows, the shoulders and the triceps. But uh, it's also... Hey. Nice. A body shot there by Das Marinas, very clean. Used the right hook to turn out nicely. He had some more room. Needs to do a lot more work with his right hand as well. Been very left hand focused so far. And as a southpaw, a lot of his effectiveness comes from that right hand, leading with the right hook there and landing the left hook. Left straight rather. Good left hook to the head. Of the sa unang tatlong round ay nakatrangka nga ang mga mata ng Pinoy sa bodega ng Pranses. Dito sa round 4 ay tiyak sa ulo na ang puntirya ng ating kababayan. Well, that was a bad knockout. We hope whoever is okay and gets attention very soon. Medical attention. The doctors are respected. At 40 seconds into the fourth round, your winner via KO from the Philippines, Michael. Gloves on fire, Dustin.
Yes. So just to put everything in perspective, gentlemen, number two, Burpee was ranked number four in the world. And Gasparillas was ranked number 12 by the WBC. And now, he beats Burpee for the IBO Bantamweight World title. What a performance.